The Cosmopolitan is widely regarded as one of the best hotels in all of Las Vegas. And in my opinion, and along with the opinion of a lot of other people, the Cosmo is the best hotel in Las Vegas, hands down, with no debate. But we'll save that conversation for another time in another video. But with MGM recently taking over operations, the Cosmo will soon fall under the MGM umbrella and become accessible to MGM reward members. So it's received a lot of talk over the last few weeks and has been receiving a lot of attention, possibly more attention than ever before. So if you're planning a trip to Las Vegas and you're planning to stay at the Cosmopolitan, Make sure you stay to the end of this video because today we're going to talk about the best rooms and suites at Cosmo and which room or suite may be best for you and your trip. So without further ado, let's get started. Now to most people, when they think about the Cosmopolitan, they think about the nice chandelier bar in the middle of the hotel. They think of this mega resort all of the rooms and suites with the balcony so you can step outside and see the fountain view or see the strip view high up floors but as a surprise to a lot of people all of the rooms and suites at the cosmo do not come with the terrace what i know that might come as a surprise to some people but they actually have different tiers of their rooms and suites at the cosmo the base rooms are the city rooms that actually don't have a terrace then you have your second tier, which is the terrace studios and suites, which are your studios and the one bedroom that have the terrace. And then they have the high end luxury suites that a lot of people will probably might not have the opportunity to stay in. And we'll talk about those luxury tiers in another video at another time. But today we'll focus on the base city rooms and we'll talk about the terrace, one bedroom and the studio. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the city rooms at the Cosmopolitan are their base rooms. So the first room is the city room. The city room is a two queen room. It's 460 square feet. You'll get two queen beds. Um, in the bathroom, you get a walk-in shower and you have a separate water closet and then dual vanity sinks. Um, that is the base room here at the hotel. And then once you get over to the city studio, you'll actually have a king bed instead of two queens but you get 630 square feet. So you do get much more space in the studio compared to the city room, but neither one of these rooms actually have the terrace, which is why they're labeled the city rooms. Um, in my opinion, if you ask me, I think it's worth paying the extra money to get a terrace, as you'll see the further we get into this video. Um, but for those people who may just want to actually stay at the Cosmopolitan to have the experience, and might not be too worried about actually having the terrace, these will be your two standard options for a room at the Cosmo without a terrace and I would say pay the extra money to get the city studio because the extra square footage is going to be worth it you get the same amenities which would be an empty mini refrigerator you also get a bigger walk-in shower in the city studio and then if you had extra guests you'll just have more space so but these are your base rooms at the Cosmo so let's go ahead and get it to what everybody wants to talk about the most the terrace rooms and suites All right, the terrace rooms and suite at the Cosmopolitan are the selling points of this hotel without a doubt. The hotel has so many different options, but when it comes to staying somewhere in Vegas, being able to stay at a hotel that's got a balcony to step outside on is what makes this hotel not only so popular, but amidst a lot of discussions on what is the best of the best in Vegas. So the options for the terrace rooms and suites, you have the terrace studio, the terrace one bedroom suite, the terrace suite, and then the wraparound terrace suite. So let's go ahead and talk about each one of the terrace options and then we'll break down the similarities and differences and then towards the end i'll give you my opinion for which ones i think are best and then what the pros and cons could be for your trip um, and your occasion okay so let's get started with the terrace studios the terrace studio is 620 square feet you get an additional 110 square foot terrace outside so that you can step outside and enjoy the weather and take in the beautiful views the standard amenities for the terrace studio is a walk-in shower, separate water closet, a soaking tub with a jet connected to it so that you can use it as a jet option. You also get dual vanity sinks and an empty mini refrigerator. These are going to be the standard options. Now you do have the option for one king or two queens and then you also have the option just to have a regular view which would be a city view or you can get the upgraded fountain view version which will give you views of the Bellagio fountains and the Las Vegas Strip. The next step up from your terrace studio is going to be your terrace one bedroom suite. Now the terrace one bedroom suite is 610 square feet compared to the 620 square feet. 
in the terrace studio but how big of a difference is 10 square foot to someone i have no idea it might matter to some but the biggest difference between these two is you actually have the bedroom separate hence why they call it the terrace one bedroom suite um, you have two sliding doors to connect the bedroom space so you have a private bedroom versus it being all open as it is in the studio um, you do still get the empty mini refrigerator as the amenity and you also get the 110 square foot uh, private terrace but the bathroom is where the difference comes in so it is a different layout in the one bedroom compared to the terrace studio um, instead of getting the soaking jetted tub in the terrace one bedroom you actually get a big japanese soaking tub enclosed with your walk-in shower so the bathroom is a different design than it is in the terrace studio but you still get a walk-in shower you still get a soaking tub except this one is just a huge japanese soaking tub that can easily fit two people and then you have your private water closet and your dual vanity sinks all right now once we get to tier three of the terrace rooms and suites at the cosmopolitan this is when we start getting to local favorites this is when we start getting to favorite suites out of all the suites in vegas we get to a lot of favorites with these last two tier three is the actual terrace suite now the terrace suite is 910 square feet you get a 160 square foot terrace and the reason you get a 160 square foot terrace is because in this suite you can actually access the suite not only from the living room area or from the private bedroom area and that makes sense to some people because this suite is actually divided in half so once you come into the suite you'll actually come into the side of the suite where you have your dining room your living room and then there's one full bathroom on this side of the suite and then once you go through this private door you have your master bathroom and a second full bathroom which is the actual master bedroom or the master bathroom of this suite now unlike the terrace studio this only comes in the king option there is no two and queen options in this terrace suite uh, same for the one bedroom the terrace one bedroom you only get a one king option so if you are looking for a terrace with two queen beds then you would definitely have to go for the studio but once you get above the terrace studio all of these are one bedroom suites now the terrace suite as i mentioned you can actually access the terrace from the living room space you do have a tv in the living room and then you also have a TV in the master bedroom. You also have a couch in the master bedroom. So there's plenty of seating options if you have a lot of different guests, but none of them are pullout beds. So if you're wondering if you get a pullout sleeper sofa, you do not. You just have a couch in the living room space and a couch in the bedroom. Now the difference with the bathrooms is, is, the, is the full bathroom in the living room, or I guess on the living room side of the suite. Um, you get a walk-in shower and you have a toilet. There's no water closet there, but it's still a full bathroom. But once you get to your master bathroom, you have that soaking tub that you got in the terrace studio with the jet. You also have a walk-in shower. You get your dual vanity sinks and you have a water closet. So that full bathroom that you get in the terrace studio, you get that same one in the terrace suite. But that's just the master bathroom. And then you also get an additional full bathroom. Now, this suite always comes with the fountain view. There's no view option for the terrace suite. It's just simply the terrace suite with the fountain view. So if you do book this suite you'll have great views you'll have a great room and then if you have a lot of guests you'll have a lot of space of course you get the standard amenity which is the with the uh, empty mini refrigerator that comes standard in all of the rooms and suites at the cosmopolitan so that is also a selling point for people as well and then last but not least the fourth tier and the top tier of all of the terrace rooms and suites at the cosmopolitan is the wraparound terrace suite now, when I tell you this is a suite that is not only a local's favorite, but it's a highly sought out favorite by travelers, you gotta just take my word for it, trust me. Now, the big selling point to people that love this suite is the fact that unlike the terrace suite, the wraparound terrace suite has a balcony that wraps around the entire suite in an L shape. The wraparound terrace suite is 1200 square feet, so it is a really, really nice size suite. Um, not only is it 1200 square feet the actual terrace is 410 square feet and the reason for the 410 square feet is because the terrace wraps around the entire suite so once you come into this suite you'll walk into the suite it's got a nice long walkway and then you'll have your first bathroom because you also get two full bathrooms in this suite as well so just like the terrace suite outside in the living room and dining room space you have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower and your toilet outside of the full bathroom is your is a nice entertainment space so you have a wet bar and then you've got a bar area with some bar stools so this is a perfect space if you're going to have a good group of guests and you want a space for entertaining you also have your you actually get a sectional couch in the wraparound suite 
and then you have your private door to separate the one bedroom space. And just like in the terrace suite, you actually can step outside to the terrace from the one bedroom space, or you can access it from two different points in the living room. So that's something that's pretty nice as well. Um, but you do actually have two different view options with this suite. You can get the just wraparound terrace suite, which will give you like city and strip view views, or you can actually book the wraparound terrace suite with the fountain view, which is everyone who loves this suite's favorite view, of course, because you get great views of the water of the Bellagio fountains and see a water show from this suite. Now, the difference between the terrace suite and the wraparound terrace suite, I would say, is the master bathroom because the layout in the wraparound terrace suite, um, you can access the bathroom from double doors. So there is no private door to the actual bat to the actual bathroom. Um, there is a water closet, so you do get the privacy in the water closet, but the bathroom is not closed off. So your only privacy would just to be to close the bedroom door. You do get a soaking tub in the wraparound terrace suite, but it's not a jetted tub. So if you're considering between the terrace suite and the wraparound terrace suite, if you're going to be in love with those views, but you want a jetted tub, you more than likely want to book the terrace suite. But if you don't care too much about having the jetted tub and you just want to have a soaking tub, and you're gonna love the space and the views and you may as well back book the wraparound terrace suite okay so now if you're like all right i've seen the different suites i've seen the different terrace options which one is best for me which one should i stay at so if you just want to stay at the cosmopolitan just to have the experience of staying at the hotel so you can say i've actually stayed there and can give your opinion the city room would do you just fine if you don't care about having a terrace and being able to step outside in the balcony you just want to see what it's like to stay there and see what their rooms look like the city rooms will do you just fine. If you need two queen beds, you'll need to book the city room. If you don't care about a king or two queens and you just want to know which option will be the best, definitely book the city studio because that extra square foot is going to give you more of a feeling of staying on vacation in somewhere nice. Plus, the walk in shower in the city studio is much bigger than the walk in shower in the city room. I don't know why the walk in shower is so big and why they just didn't throw in the soaking tub, but it is absolutely nice. Um, so the space will definitely be helpful. Now, if you're going to Vegas and you need two queen beds and you want to stay at the Cosmopolitan, then your option is going to either be the city room with the two queens or you're going to want to book the Terrace Studio with two queens because those are going to be your only two queen option rooms between the city rooms and the Terrace tier rooms and suites. Um, so those would be your options if you need two queen beds. Now, if you ask me my opinion, if you're going to stay at the Cosmopolitan, pay the extra money to stay in a terrace tier room. It is a completely different experience staying in one of the city rooms versus staying in the terrace. It might not seem that serious to some people, but trust me, I've actually stayed in the city studio. I've been in the city room and I've stayed in all of the tiers of the terrace. And trust me, it is a completely different experience when you can just simply step outside. Now, my personal favorites, I actually like the layout of this terrace studio more so than I like the layout of the Terrace One bedroom. Um, the Terrace One bedroom, in my opinion, feels more like an actual apartment. So if you had a one bedroom apartment, I think you get more of an apartment feel with the Terrace One bedroom and having the privacy for that bedroom is actually more of my preferred desire. But as far as the layout, I like with the studio, you come into the bathroom and then you actually walk into the room versus when you go into the one bedroom, you actually walk into the room, you have your living room and then as you're going to the bedroom area, the bathroom is off to the side. So I kind of feel like even though you get that privacy with the one bedroom, the layout is just better of the studio. Um, but if you have the money for it, I'm going to tell you now, go ahead and get a terrace suite or a wraparound terrace suite. Like it's just that's going to change your whole experience. You won't even look at Vegas the same. My personal favorite out of all of these, of course, is the wraparound terrace suite. I was a fan of the terrace suite for the longest time. And then I actually stayed in the wraparound terrace suite. And just being able to walk out onto the balcony from your bedroom or being in the living room, hanging out with everybody and being able to go out onto the balcony and then you can literally just walk around. It's just, it's really worth something that words can't describe. It's, it's an incredible feeling. So hopefully if you're going to the Cosmopolitan, this video has been very helpful for you. These breakdowns have opened things up if you've been trying to figure out where to stay at Cosmo. And if you have any questions, as always, you can comment below, you know, always check the comments. Or if you need to reach out to me personally, my email is in the description. If you need to have a one on one meeting so you can have more personable experience, you can book a consultation with me as well. And I'll work with you one on one to help you get the perfect suite for your trip. But that's going to do it for this video. If you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. 
And as always, thanks for watching.